Today I'm unpacking or revising the wrap groove and the reggae groove and the single strike rudiment that starts off uh, the Can't Stop song by Red Hot Chili Peppers. So a quick revision on what the wrap groove sounds like so that we can apply it to this song. So uh, the hoops are playing uh, eighth notes or quavers. One and two and three and four and. So this is your hi-hat line. And by the way, I've made a video for you all to practice this rap groove. It's in your Google class that Miss has sent you. One and two and three and four and. And the center of the snare is on two and three. So two and three. Two, three, four, two, three, four. So with the hoop, one and two, three, four. One and two, three, four. One and two, three, four. One and two, and three, four. One and two, and three, four. It's very syncopated. One on the after the first hit of the snare on two, it's syncopated sixteenth note. Three, yeah, so one and two and three and four and 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 would be about the speed for can't stop. Yeah? Try and practice it with the song with your headphones on at home. Hitting a book, if you kept the drumsticks that I gave you, if you lost them, come and see me. I may have picked them up for you. Um, so that's the snare part. Slow. Now you want to get it to the speed of can't stop, because we've been using the rap group for can't stop. Um, now, if I play it with the bass drummers, the bass drummers are playing on the one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and yeah. So with the uh, snare drummers, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and yeah. So that's the rap groove. Now to revise the introduction or the entry, the crescendo of the single rudiment. It's a long snare roll, single strokes so, so from right to left. I'm going to play in a center line, meeting both sticks in the center. And it's a crescendo, so the sticks get louder. So that you'll see the sticks come up about this level at the end. We're going to play uh, 16 bar, then on, on the 17th bar. Uh, we are going to hit the uh, flam. So each bar is going to be one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and that's one bar. Two e and, a two e and, a two e and, and I'll count to eight. Then I'll count to eight again, making it sixteen bars. Here, here we go. Meeting these two sticks as straight as you can, meeting them in the center, drawing two straight lines. One e and a two. E and a So I did get loud too early, but it's a matter of pressing, trying to hold back, because you've got eight, uh, 16 bars, you know, so you raise the stick. So each bar is moved in by one. one. Second bar, you know, you move the sticks in slightly. So practice that and try and get as even as you can. And now I will unpack the reggae part, which will happen um, after the second chorus in the song, Can't Stop. They do a reggae. Um, 
if we play our reggae part pretty fast, uh, they play a lot more kick drums. Chad Smith plays the kick a lot more of a funk reggae. So uh, we're going to have to play the hoop a bit faster. So our reggae. So they're going to be... about the speed for the hoop yeah ten more reasons why yeah that part there so hitting the snare on the two one and two and three and one and two and three and four and the hoop you're counting one or two or three or four or one because you've got that syncopated sixteenth note at the end of each count one or two or three or four or one or two or three or four or one or two or three or four or one or two and the snare sitting in the center is from two and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. And the bass drum is only hitting on the third. One and two and three. One and two and three and four. One and two and three. Try that with Can't Stop and slow it down to practice. I'll play it one more time, the reggae slow, and then I'll see you in drumline class. One or two, sorry, on the snare. One or two or three or four. Or one or two or three or four. Snare drummers. Three or four. Or one or two or three or four. Or one or two or three or four. With the bass drummers. One or two or three or four. Now surely you can practice that on a book with the sticks that I gave you at home and I'll see you in class. Try not bash the drum when I'm talking in class. It makes it very hard for me to teach the class. And thank you for those of you that are trying really hard to listen and play in time with each other. We will probably have a performance uh, sometime this year. See you then. See you soon.